Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic. And I am O Steve Life Forum. And we are once again reacting to Ruby. Season 5, episode 8. So Bella Donna, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh we discussed a little bit the last episode, uh while we were off the screen. And I have to agree because um the season stopped really strong and I really like it. Um, but the last episodes tended to go weaker, weaker, especially if you see the last episode. I I thought about it was like 15 minutes, but what happened was more neither. They really meet, not much, yeah. they say hi, they recap, they, they recap what happened. And then we went to uh, the base of the bandits, which was basically stopped immediately, which was a cliffhanger, which was ser simply a cliffhanger. So the last episode was, it was a feel good episode because you could it see had the team together. It had a feeling. Yeah, it was very much a filling. Filler, yeah. No new information yep. for us, except for a little bit about uh, Oz. Yeah. Um, uh, so, hmm. weak. Uh, but I think it was a necessary one, because it it is this, um, the team reuni reunites, except for Blake. Um, <coughs> so, <laughs> it is okay for me, but I see that it felt a little bit weak. I um, could go on about this, but just let's say just, yes. just, just, just make... <laughs> Start, uh, Let's just start music and yeah, yeah, talk, talk louder, louder. Because <laughs> <laughs> I get to again to stop criticizing our favorite series. <laughs> no, that many people, um, not all, but many people like the fact that you have a very um, clear view on things. Critical. <laughs> you speak your mind. That's okay. Yeah, I mean it's not as uh, it's miles better than uh, season four. That's that's one thing, but the last episode. I mean, we already discussed what made the what was. Let's what, just what, hope this. We will see what this episode does. Maybe it's it really was a filler. So maybe that's it. I don't. I don't like spoilers. Legend. Legend. This picture. Yeah. I think there will be more about this. It's the years. Did ever did you see Ruby's reaction, her face when she swings? Just before Weiss turns up, it has a little bit of insanity on her face. You need to. Next one. Next time. Menagerie. Mm -hmm. A lot like. Yeah. No, it's crystal. Hmm. Join the view. You're up early. <laughs> hey, sis. Boop. <laughs> there we are again. At <sighs> what are you doing up? Can't fall back asleep. Ah, uh, me neither. Well, fortunately, I'm the coffee, coffee exists. <laughs> coffee. I hope we see tea coffee again. No, please. Don't worry, I put in blasphemous amounts of cream and sugar just for you. Oh yeah, nice voice strikes again. I will pour this on you, and it will burn. Nice <laughs> one. I can't believe we're actually in Mistral. That's what you can't believe? Well, yeah. <laughs> and all the other magic and stuff. But, okay, you know what I mean. I honestly wasn't sure if I'd ever see you two again. Well, here's to defying expectations. <laughs> I just wish Blake could be here with us. Yeah, well, she made her choice. Abnormous amount of sugar and cream. Cream and What's five sugar. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, she could have been here if she just stuck around. Ooh. It's no big deal, though. We'll be fine. Don't you want her here? Why would I want her here? Are you still mad at her for leaving? Oh, whatever gave you that idea, Ruby. No, I'm totally fine. I'm great. Okay, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! 
and go to shoot. Yeah. Whoa. Dang. Yeah. Whatever. Hmm. Oh, that's a little. Hey, Blake! You ready to go? Be right there. Oh. Message from her to Ilya? Yes. Oh. Or the other way around? I think it's the other way around. Yeah, I. But I couldn't read it all. Uh, things going too far. Don't know what to do. Find a quiet spot. I will meet. I will find you. Something. Recruiting or what? We've got the entire nocturnal section to hit up. I go out again. You okay? Nocturnal. Yeah, I'll meet you there. I need to take care of something first. Yeah. Okay. The question is, is this really a cry for help or is she luring her away so yeah. that they can go for the family and um They switch back, what? <laughs> don't rip it. I don't think. Yeah. Look, Ruby, I really don't want to talk about it, okay? Ruby. Can you just leave me alone for a bit? Boss? Oh. Ooh. Oh. Hey, Weiss. Did you need something? <sighs> I know she's our teammate. But I'm not just going to change my mind. I'm sorry, I just... I don't think you know what it's like to be left. You have a giant family. Recitals to perform at. Dinners to attend. I didn't have any of that. My mom left me. Ruby's mom left too. Ty was always busy with school and Ruby couldn't even talk yet. I had to pick up the pieces. I had to keep things together. Alone. Weiss, if you have something to say, then say it. When I was 10, my dad finally admitted to my mom that the only reason he married her was for the family name. <laughs> it was actually on my birthday. He missed the big dinner. She got mad. He finally snapped. I think she already knew. Looking back, I think I knew too. But hearing him say it finally pushed her over the edge. First, it was separate lunches and dinners. Opposite balconies at my recitals. A glass of wine here, a glass of wine there. Then it was no dinners, no recitals. A bottle of wine here and... Well, you get the idea. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. You're right, though. I don't know loneliness like you do. I have my own version. And I'll bet Blake has her own version, too. She doesn't have to be alone, though. I was here for her. We all were. She chose to leave us. Why do you think she did that? Hmm? The entire time Blake was at Beacon, she was afraid to open up to people. She tried to keep her past separated from us. She tried to protect us. Eventually, those walls she put up came down. And the moment they did, the one thing she was afraid of actually happened. The universe proved her right. No one blamed her for anything. If she had just talked to us, she would have known that. How could I be there for her if she doesn't let me? What if I needed her here for me? I know it's not easy. I wish she hadn't left too. The only thing we can do now is be there for her when she's ready. When she comes back. <laughs> if she comes back. She will. 
Yang, you, Ruby, and even Blake are more like family to me than my brother or even my own father. I would do anything for you three, and I'm willing to bet Blake feels the same way. So, when she's ready, I'll be there for her. And I know we're not as close, but I'm here for you too. Why is being the nice? Is uh, everything okay? Yeah, it is. <sighs> <laughs> Didn't kill each other. Oh, it's interesting to see how each of them comforts others. Mm. Ilya? I'm here. Cloaked. Ilya. I know you're scared, but you don't have to be. My family and I, we can keep you safe. I'm sorry. You can make it up to me by helping us stop Corsican Fennec. No. I'm sorry. Sister Trifa. And to you, Ilya. Ilya! What are you doing? I tried to warn you, Blake. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're sorry. But I am. I am sorry it has to be this way, but you and your family are holding the Faunus back. Because we're trying to protect people? In what world do you live in where attacking the innocent is the right thing to do? The same one as you. There's no such thing as innocent. There's no right thing to do. Only what's best for us. There's the humans that still hate the Faunus. And there's the others who stand by and let the hate happen. But you know what snuffs out hate? Fear. I don't like hurting people. But I'll tell you this, it's gotten us results. Yeah. Look where it's gotten you. Ouch. We all have to make sacrifices for the greater good, no matter how much it hurts. And you think killing me is really for the greater good? No. But getting rid of your family is. You wouldn't. You can't. I won't let you. I know. That's why you're being sent to Mistral. To Adam. Ilya, please. You don't have to do this. This isn't you. Yes, it is. But I guess back then you were just too busy falling for Adam to notice. I was always jealous of the way you looked at him. I wanted you to look at me that way. Oh, wow. Yeah. But we can't always get what we want. Yuma, with me. You two, get her to the docks. Let's go, traitor. No! Huh? <laughs> Watch! Trusted him. Wow. Of course, she knew that she would. He would follow. Thanks for the backup. Thanks for the invitation. Hmm. You okay. No. You heard, Ilya. My family's in danger. Call the police and let's go. Right. Come on, mom. Pick up. Oh, they're already there. Get down! He's a bunny. 
<laughs> Just waiting for it. She had to be some fire. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Those are some resting moves. A little bit like boss oh. Yes, brother. I'm afraid I'm inclined to agree. Wolverine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or, or what was his brother? Not Wolverine? Uh, Sabertooth. Sabertooth. He had the cause. Let's <laughs> go! <laughs> <laughs> they always do this to me. So many cliffhangers. It's incredible. So they have some that th those weapons are interesting. Those, those cliffhangers. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of the of Ilya's weapon, you know, by just by the view. Yeah, but it seems to be different because it was glowing. It was. I, it's more like a magic wand. There was wand. a shot. I think there was a shot that hit one of the guards there. There was a glow, so hmm. it can shoot. Um, and it's got like two spikes, so on the parry. Yeah. Um, and they're well, like, like just for the parry, they they are daggers too. Yeah, it's like a dagger, but. Uh, uh, tan Tanto it is, I think. No, Tanto is with three um, dagger parts. No, just like a very uh, very strange looking dagger. Um, maybe it's a reminiscence to the, the one in the in the um, picture. Yeah. So it's I like, mean, once again, family they have the whole the sh uh, sh shakal? Sh sh shakal? Yeah, again. yeah. A uh, theme to it, so it, this is appears to be a little bit like the, the shackles are very prominent in Egypt. Egyptian. Um, so maybe this is uh, some who, sort of like ritual dagger or something. No, Horus. Just think about which god it was who had those warriors. But they had very often two daggers. That's true. Oh, well, yeah, but it might be it's a reminiscence there. Um, however, so they are attacking those little things. I mean, Anubis? No, Anubis was An the one. Anubis was the one with yes, he was the one with yeah. the uh, shackle little hats. Um, and they were cool at jumping. So maybe if they jump around a lot, then they are. Uh, <laughs> so however, so they are attacking. Um, what, what did they start with? We with start the with story Yang of and, Yang and yeah. uh, Vice yeah? so, and uh, the, her. Um, Yang not being able to easily forgive. Uh, yeah, I mean uh, this. Like left and and she was basically leaving her behind. Yeah. Even though she assured that they are safe, yada yada yada. But of course she felt like okay, I was there for her. I lost my arm for you, and see so you simply. Yeah, left. and and it was um in the beginning it seemed or most of the time it seemed as though she uh, was like um because she said we would have been there for her, but then she said the one thing, what if I needed, needed her? her? Yeah. So that it is. Um, Yang really felt and still feels close to Blake, which is um Oh well, the thing is also that she always had to to, to be there for uh for others. For, for others and no one there for her and this would be like she would have wished that someone is finally there for her. As Weiss was now. Mm. I mean and that is once again we are at the point how what a long go Weiss has gone. Well, the thing is, in, in this season especially, she changed a lot yes. compared to the others. Like, she, her, her behavior is really, really different. It's a lot... Uh, Warmer. Yeah, but the thing is also, okay, they try to uh, sprinkle in her cold behavior now and then. But still, it's it's it feels like, okay, that this is really a lot for her. I, I think it is, uh, which we had in the last season. The, the soul being back with her father, with her family... Um, this is a complete the the uh, she said a she said a point she said I um, I'm free now I will not follow your rule but it also changed her behavior and the meaning of that she um, broke breaks out of her ice shell in the end. Well, I mean, the the girls are resembling family to her, which she obviously yeah. seems to have never gotten. But she's also having her sister. Yes. No, she said. No, she said you're you're more family to me, like my brother or well, my, my father. father. Right. She never talked about her mother. Yeah. Or about her still, sister but then. okay. Uh, uh, still, it's okay. What what about her her sister still? And it's it, it just feels feels a little bit 
a smidgen too too much for I me. know what you mean. It's I a, can see that. a smidgen too much. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 a nice thing that she is there and not Ruby. And like, Yang was comforting Blake. Rice is now comforting Yang, and yeah. Ruby is comforting everyone else. Yeah, because that's what she does. <laughs> True. Everyone outside of the team, it seems very often. I mean, Yang and Vi um, Ruby and Vice had also their talk already. Like, yeah, season two, I think it was, or something. I'm not sure. One hundred percent sure. But their talk. Um, but I like how they uh, come back to uh, the old seasons. Um, as example here with the coffee, you know, um, I said it during it already. Mm. This um, cream and five sugars. Yeah. <laughs> so they came back to that. Um, it's. I think I I like the fact that Yang is not easily over it. Um, they, yeah. It it's not like forgive and forget. It is. She has to struggle with things. Uh, they go more for this length. Um, in because we had the discussion for I mean, the first season, especially when a lot of things felt rushed, yeah. because the time was mm. missing, and they take more times for yeah. um, especially personal um, involvement. I like how okay. the the distress and the anger really shows up, and then her eyes even turn red, and yeah. the others are scared. Okay, because this is what I meant with okay, she has she will continually or for but pro probably for the rest of her life have to deal with this PTSD, yeah. and currently she's blaming Blake for it. Not no no she's not blaming Blake for the PTSD. She's no blaming... no not but but for for leaving yeah for leaving but also she 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 remembered her arm being cut off and she she was not there. She no she doesn't care about that she lost. I, I mean she might but it was not <laughs> about that she cared about um, the arm being lost as a that Bla it was Blake's fault. She was angry no, about that, that she Blake was not left. There. That, that is the was... thing. She wanted her to be there. Um, not like I gave you my arm, you have to be, but like <laughs> we are friends. Why did you leave? We had the discussion in season four about it a lot about Blake and how she behaves and how, um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we had that a lot. And I and also in the comments, uh, yes, sure. And uh, <gasps> we have seen in this episode that Rooster Tees um, worked on that a lot as well because they sh um, they discussed it by using Sun with her, you yeah, know, the reasons, and uh, they showed her turning this, um, realizing that it was not correct that was wrong maybe what she did and now standing in for her friends which mm -hmm. she does with which she did with Ilya here so um there's involvement too um but if you want to have a real um difference in your behavior first you need to show that there are things you did weren't which are not correct and this was the moment which we seen it which we didn't like hmm. you know so it's okay which brings me to Ilya yeah uh, so it was a trap crap <laughs> so she's not turning was to go right now I mean, the thing is that she has the feelings involved will uh, fi will yeah. probably cause her to save and more probably sacrifice herself for Blake. Jump in somewhere, yeah. something well, like that. As soon that, as yeah. Adam attempts to kill Blake. I'm, I'm like kind that. of worried that Ilya might go this season. Yeah. You know, it, it felt feels a little bit like she chose um, her side again, which is not the good. The thing is, she, she uh, with, with her parents being killed basically by humans uh, by this accident in, in mm. the mines and her not basically getting the love back she wanted to have yes and i this, like that she how she blushes there you know? yeah and the, the thing is this is That's already right. really long time ago in that moment it's here more more than a year definitely so this is like wow you are she she's really not over this so this is probably something which will cause her it's, to it's not a grudge um she it's... she is more neither over she um as she said but that's a long time ago um but it is something that she wanted to point out you never really see me for who i am in the meaning of you she have no time like for me she's left alone all the time basically that's it i mean it's once again fitting blake blake leaves her friends alone mm. there we are again um, so that was the same thing that Ilya experienced. You left me alone yeah. because of whatever reasons to follow along Adam. I mean, she followed Adam and uh, to wherever he was going because she liked him, and Ilya was left there. Like, well, she was not left. Away. She was not. No, she was not left there. She was not looked at like she yeah. would have liked to be. It's what I was not thrown away. She was not simply the same. She did. She was not what she wanted to be for her. Yeah. Um. So that's the thing. I um. Yeah, but it's uh, surprising. But she still gets stuck, uh, gets hurt by some of the things Blake and, said. And Gira's, Gira's. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, Meanwhile, say, say, get out of my home was nice as well. Get out of my out of my house. Um, 
I think what might happen next episode, and the question is the one side or the other, I, next or second next episode, if they skip the Blake line again, the Belladonna line for the next episode, um, we will see a fight Raven. in the house um, with Ilya being yeah. involved. And the question is if either um, Blake will have to make a decision, Blake or Sun, or I guess Blake, and like um, go against Ilya, which might end tragically. Or if there's a moment when the White Fang, thus Blake and uh, Sun jump in, is being shot at, is being attacked, and this is a moment when Ilya turns and the sacrificial lamb again jumps in and gets. Uh, hurt I don't or think killed. that Ilya will turn in a, within the next few. No, episodes. no, I, I don't think about a thinking ret uh, a turn. I think about um, uh, they are all fighting then there, and then one of her men, whoever, shoots or steps at uh, Blake and it is not about thinking it is about acting mm. and she's just throwing herself in mm, that I think might that's true. be it, I think it's yeah. true. for me it's more interesting right now because those two don't appear to be that weak and they are going against gira yeah. so this will be an interesting fight it's and I, what one. i would assume is that blake and son are arriving too late so for gira for gira uh, maybe her mother is still alive and she encourages her or uh but uh I don't think that they um, make it in time. Uh, as I said, last or second second last episode, I don't think that um, her parents will die. Neither. I hope um, so. <laughs> just um, not only out of hoping, but because it, in my opinion, wouldn't fit the storyline. Because mm. she um, had so many losses, that was her reason to seclude herself. And it would go against what they tried to do, get her open up more and help her friends. Yeah. If she would lose her parents now, to the, or at least one of them, um, it wouldn't fit, in my see. opinion. We will see. I mean, it's an uh, it's an option which became more likely right now. I'm still preferring or uh, favoring the option with the underground organization yeah. thing. What What's interesting for me here is these two. I really didn't think they would step in themselves. Yeah, that's this is also... really surprising. I thought they would send in henchmen, mm. and if anything's happened, if anything happens, she would. They would then later on blame yeah. it on Elia. That's you know? true. Mm. And he, she's a follower of Adam. Uh, she spoke about against you, and they didn't say anything at this moment. They were neutral when the discussion was. Um, but by stepping in here, they that's really surprising. They yes. open up um, at least to Gira and the others. Um, yeah, they gave their position or their where where they are standing. Where they're standing, yeah. So and. Mm. They seem to be more like puppet masters all the time, like um, keeping their distance and yeah, trying more to find... background and yeah. like okay, we are to have a good standing with all, everyone basically. Yeah, and get the benefit out of everyone's moves. Mm. And right now, this is a risk what they are doing. I mean, it was well planned, so they guess that it would work, but it is still a risk. Yeah. So. Which also means that they are pretty confident in themselves because they know what they're achieving. I'm pretty. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I guess they are there long enough at, by this, the way they talked before. They were there when um, Gira was the chieftain. Uh, mm -hmm. was not a chieftain, but was the boss of the... Uh, right Fang. Right Fang. Although this was a peaceful organization, so mm -hmm. I guess he did not do much fighting then. But still, they know him long enough to know how at least intimidating he can be, as we have mm -hmm. seen. Um, okay. So, anything else... Yeah, well, I would assume next episode we will not see how this uh, ends. Uh, no, we will not. <laughs> Crap. That's so and mean. The next episode is the one which came out today, right? Yeah. So we will talk about that in the beginning of the next episode. <laughs> so, as always, I hope you liked that. Um, if you want to see our next reaction, just go over to my Patreon. Uh, it should be already up there. Or just wait a little bit and then I will upload it to YouTube, as always. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> Talk to us about our uh, prophetic ideas. Which came not true. <laughs> we never know. Um, and uh, this is it for this time. My name is Relax and Penny. And I am Most Evil Life Form. Goodbye and out. Bye.